friends, welcome to the Veggie Kitchen channel. Today we are going to see a very easy and a quick sweet recipe that is called as the Rava Kesari or the Suji Kesari. It's a very quick sweet which can be done within 10 minutes with very few ingredients that we normally have in our home. So now come on, let's get into the recipe. First, we have to heat the pan and add 1 tablespoon of ghee to it. Let the ghee melt. Once the ghee melts, add the uh, cashews and slightly roast it until it becomes golden brown. Now we can add one more spoon of ghee to the same pan and allow the ghee to melt it. You can add this one cup of rava. I have measured a one cup of rava here. Keep stirring the rava. So once the color is proper color is achieved. Now I'm adding a two cups of boiled water to it. So you have to keep stirring it. Keep stirring it so that the lumps doesn't form. Two cups of water adding to the rava. And you have to give one to two minutes for the rava to boil well. See the rava has now boiled well and you could see the consistency. So now we are about to add the sugar. For this recipe, I'm adding two cups of sugar. Usually, this suji recipe requires one cup of rava equals to two half, two and half cups of sugar. So, for a sweeter preference, you can add three cups, or if you have a very sweeter sugar, you can add it lesser amount, like one cup of rava is to two cups of sugar keep stirring in different ways so that if there are lumps under the uh, layer that would break into pieces keep stirring for a few minutes this stirring will take nearly two to three minutes so keep stirring after a few minutes the sugar will blend with the suji meanwhile now it's the time to add a a pinch of turmeric powder usually food colors are added but I'm avoiding the food colors because those food colors are not healthy as you all know so if you want a brighter color you can choose uh, the kesari powder or in yellow food color or orange food color or red color I usually use turmeric so that you can avoid these food colors so you have to keep stirring and the kesari becomes smooth and creamy. You can add one spoon of uh, ghee to it. Suji is, doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So you have to switch off the stove. This is the right time to switch it off. Once you switch it off, always place it in the same heat and keep stirring. During this time, you can add the roasted cashews to it and a pinch of elachi powder for flavoring. So, so once it's cooled down it comes to a nice consistency so always for the suji kesari add lot of ghee see now you can see it doesn't stick to the pan 
one last spoon of the ghee which I have here and one last stir so that it doesn't stick to the bottom it's time to transfer our suji kesari to a bowl you see so please do try this recipe and share it with your friends and family we'll meet you in the next video bye bye